Welcome to the New Map Mix Academy. I'm Matt, and I'll be guiding you through the process of becoming a DJ. In this first episode, I'm going to show you how to get set up once you've purchased your controller. The first step will be to connect the provided USB cable to an available USB port or hub on your laptop. In this video, we're using the MixTrack Pro 3, which is a bus-powered unit. Bus-powered means this controller does not require an external power supply and instead draws power from the USB connection. On the rear of the controller, you'll find a pair of RCA audio outputs. RCA is an industry standard audio connection which can be found on DJ controllers, mixers and media players. Using these outputs, let's get our controller connected to a pair of active monitors. Make sure you also have your headphones connected to the front of the unit so you can preview tracks that you want to mix in using the Q button. The final stage is to get set up with Serato. All new Mark controllers are designed to work with either Serato DJ Lite or Serato DJ Pro. It can be used with other DJ software applications as well. Once the software is downloaded and installed, Serato will auto-detect the MixTrack Pro 3 upon startup. You can now import your music collection into Serato and organize them into crates. An important step here is to have Serato analyze your tracks before you begin to organize them. The analysis function will process your entire music library and provide each track with waveform overviews, musical key, and BPM information. This process will also check for any file corruption within your database of tracks. Let's take a look at how the controller interacts with Serato. Using the browse encoder in the center of the MixTrack Pro 3, we are now able to search through our music collection. Placing tracks into each deck is handled by load buttons 1 and 2. The EQ section of the mixer will control the high, mid and low frequencies of any playing track. The pitch faders are one of the many ways to adjust the speed of a track. Humar controllers feature the 100mm style pitch fader design. This will allow for greater accuracy when adjusting the tempo of a track. So that's how we get our controller set up and running with Serato. In the next episode, we'll be covering one of the most essential DJ skills, beat matching. <laughs>